Well, hello. This is Jan from the Fuzzy Duckling. We are back with you today to work on our second project in our If Fishes Were Wishes theme. And today we're going to learn how to draw a beautiful rainbow trout. I think they're one of the most beautiful wild fishies out there. And also, if you'll notice below where, uh, where this video is, there is a PDF with all the steps for drawing your little fishy. And those are for you to print and keep at home so you can remember how this goes. And today you can do a draw along with me. This is a finished project for drawing our fishy. And yes, there's a little pink there. I cheated. We used a colored pencil at the very end. It's only the last few seconds just to show the beautiful pink stripe these guys have. All right. And yes, I do have this lightly sketched out to save some time because I, like I think most artists, it takes us a little while sometimes to sketch out our foundation lines so that we know exactly where we want to place everything. And I wanted to save you that time. But we're going to go over these step by step. And I am going to press hard so this shows up well on the video. And I'm going to try to straighten this up a little bit here. It has a tendency to move on its own sometimes. There we go. So, you want to draw these lines very lightly at the beginning so that they're easy to erase and they won't make dent lines, etc. in your paper that's hard to get rid of. So remember, you draw these lines light until you know which lines you want to keep and which lines you want to erase. So, in our steps here, this is a finished project. This isn't a shaded project, but it is the drawing is to draw a, a submarine shape or a paddle shape, a weird oval. I like to go with submarine because submarines swim in the water and our fishies swim in the water. I'll bet you submarine makers took a look at how fish were built. This right here is what we want to draw. So, I'm going to come along here. And we're going to draw a submarine shape. Whoops, I'm pressing so hard I'm actually even breaking my lid. I want to be sure you can see these lines. Don't you do that though. You draw as light as you can. All right, there's my submarine shape. Fairly easy. Just be sure it's fatter on one end and it gets thinner on the other end and you have rounded ends. Okay, now we're going to uh, tackle the hardest part, I think, of this drawing now. And that is drawing the mouth. And I don't know why. It just seems a little more complicated. But the first line, you're going to come down here on this wide end. And I have not come up with a uh, a shape to call this. It's kind of an odd shape. But you're going to come here and do, well, I'm not sure what you would call that. Can you see that well? It's a, kind of a teardrop shape. Maybe you can think of a better name for it. It's not like it's a total circle or it's a total square. It's just kind of a teardrop. Now, probably if you're having trouble getting in that, though, do you see the circle shape here? You could come in and draw a circle there and then bring the lines out to this outer edge. That might make it a little easier. So once you have this here, and I'm going to erase that there, We want to draw the top lip in. So come to the line there where you met your edge. Come out just a little bit. We're going to give him kind of fat lips. And follow around the top. 
and just stop about there. That gives him a top lip. And now we want to come to the bottom one. And it seems like the trout kind of have a sharp little bottom jawline here. And we're just going to come around and be sure we have that bottom jawline in there. Just like that. You had already drawn most of that in, so that's pretty easy. And now we're just going to make a line here that shows the inside of the mouth a little bit. See, now we have our mouth. Let's do a little erasing. Let's get rid of this edge line here. It's kind of detracting. And if you drew light, it's not going to be a problem for you. A little line I drew there. And there we do. Oh, and you'll have a little line right here between the lower jaw and the upper lip. And you'll need to erase between those. Now, once you have this done, I'm thoroughly convinced you've got the hardest part of your fishy drawn already. And the rest is easy. Next step, the eye. So come up here above the mouth a little ways. Make a circle. Now this is an outer circle. This is the outside edge of his eye. Be sure you make a big enough circle that we can put the pupil of his eye in there. Okay, see that outer edge? Now let's draw the pupil inside that. Which really, we just have two circles. One little one inside a bigger circle. Now, if you watched one of our other videos, in the eye, we cut a little pie shape out for the highlight. So let's do that. See that little pie shape? And let's go ahead and color in that uh, pupil. You might have to use some pressure on that depending on the pencil you're using. And today I'm using a pencil like you would have that you would take to school. Now eventually if you stay with art, you're going to want to get some art pencils. And the difference between this pencil and a lot of your art pencils is that there are harder pencils or harder leaded pencils and softer leaded pencils. And your softer leads are easier to fill in with. You don't have to push quite as hard or work quite as hard to get them filled in. But you can still do it with this pencil. All right, we have the eye and we have the mouth. I'll show you where we are on this. This is where we are. We have the mouth and the eye. And now we're going to come along and do part of this gill shapes that we have on a fishies. This is where they breathe. All right, so this is not any particular shape either. So you're just going to kind of have to look at it. It's kind of a long beanie kind of shape. Do you see that right there? And then we're going to do one behind it. In fact, it kind of reminds me of an ear shape. A long stringy kind of shape that goes from up here around the eye area clear down a little bit below the edge line of your submarine shape there we go see how that is that's the gill area that's where they breathe all righty now let's add a little bit of shape here for the tail now the tail kind of makes me think of a sideways heart that doesn't have the tip on it. <laughs> so we're going to come back here. We're going to come here. That's part of, if this was a heart, this would be the top of it. You see, we'd have a bottom here. Of course, the heart will go back up again. Make the other side of the heart. Now, in your imagination, you can finish that heart off. You don't really want that line there because you have to erase it. You can put it there, though, if it helps you draw it. See how we have a sideways heart there for our tail? And that puts us at this section. 
So let's move on to page two. It already is looking like a fish, isn't it? Page two of our downloadable PDF. Oh my goodness, look at all of this. We're going to work on making the fins. And fish just can't swim around if they don't have fins. And the first step on this page is to draw the top two little fins they have. Now this back one is very interesting. I love fish. I have fish. And I've never actually seen a fin like this back one. If you go online and look closely at pictures of real fish, not just the drawings, but of real rainbow trout, this is kind of a fatty little fin. It's not real thin and elegant like what you think of fins on fish. This is kind of a fatty lump on their back. It's kind of funny, and I didn't know that their fins on the back were like that until I looked at the picture. In fact, part of the uh, name for this has a... A big long word that stands for fat. I'm not even sure how to say it. There'd be more of a medical word, but it stands for fat. Now this, again, has the fins we're used to seeing on fish. So it's just going to kind of come up this way. Go down this way. Like this. It's kind of like an odd rectangle. And there we go. We have our top fin and our weird little fin. Now the next step is to add the fins on the bottom, and they have three of them down here. And there's technical names for these. We're not going to worry about them. All we need to know is how to draw it. We don't need the name. So let's start back here. This is the back fin. Probably kind of acts like a rudder. In a, like on a boat, you'd have a rudder that helps steer what direction they go. So there's that fin. These fins, they're in the middle. It's shaped a little different. There's the middle fin. And they have one more very important little fin because I think they do a lot of steering with these too. This is, I think this is what they call their pectoral fin. Here we go. There's our fins. Now, look, we basically have our fishy already. We do need to do some erasing. If you put the rest of these heart lines in, we need to get rid of that. But keep this line right here. Because it kind of shows when you start putting the details in. Let's clean it up a little bit. Some of these lines that I had in extra that I don't need. And this line here that is through this fin, we need to get rid of because the fin is closer to us than his body, so we won't actually see the line of the body there. There we go. Now, I drew so hard, it's almost impossible for me to get rid of those lines. That's why you need to draw lightly. All righty. Hey, there's our basic fish already. Okay, hey, there's one more page. We're going to put the details in to kind of finish this guy off and make him look like a rainbow trout. All right, do you see we have four steps here to come to this finished guy? And the first thing we're going to do is put the lines into our fins and our tail. This little thing up here, this little Bat fin, we don't put lines in. It doesn't have lines in. It's entirely different than these little guys. All right, for this top one, the lines will go from the body up to the top. You kind of make them curvy. They don't have to be perfect. There we go. And I like to come up then and kind of, oh, I'm not sure. We make this line a little uneven by making a little dip between every one of those lines. It kind of makes it look more like a fin. And then I'm going to erase above there where I had the other line. There we go. Leave this one alone. Come to your tail. I like starting out with my middle lines first. 
somehow it just makes it a little easier to do. Okay, see how we did that? And do I want one more? We'll put one more. You judge how many lines you want. This is your fishy. Okay, let's swing on to this one. These lines are going to go kind of this way. You know, it's always a good idea when you're drawing something is just find pictures of the real thing. Even if you're going to do a cartoon version, it's good to know what the real thing looks like because it will make the cartoon version even look better. Okay, here we have this middle fin now. Let's just follow that down. Now notice I'm not making strictly straight lines because if you look at a fish's fin, especially when they're moving and swimming, their fins aren't going to be straight lines. They're going to be curvy, just like everything else in nature is. Now, one more fin here, and that's going to come from this little end here, and they're going to move sideways like that. There we go. Let's go back over it real quickly. The lines from the top fin go up to the top. The lines in your tail go from that end out to the end of your tail. The lines from this bottom fin go kind of sideways out to the, we call this the end of the fin. These do the same. They're kind of sideways from the body to the end of the fin. And these really are sideways from the body to the pointy part of the fin. Very good. All right. Now we need to put in some markings that show the scales. Now, by the time you're done with this, the scales aren't going to show that much, but they're there. And fish do have scales, and they do affect the texture, and it gives you some neat texture. So, I like to come along. Notice these stripes that we're giving them. It looks like stripes at this point. We're going to draw all those that go in one way first. So, I'm going to stop. I'm going to start up here by the um, the gill parts, and we're just going to go like that. Now don't get too picky. You could measure all these but that will take all the fun out of it. I guarantee if you get so picky and if you start having to measure everything the life will go out of your picture. Sometimes the looser you draw the better the picture will come out. Because when we get too picky it shows a tightness and a strictness that just shows the picture doesn't come out well. It may be perfectly drawn, but it won't have any life in it. And one thing we want, especially in drawings of living things, is some life. So about got this almost done there already. And I kind of start to get here towards this end where it kind of rounds and fits up into that a little bit. Now, I have something on my drawing board. It might be some glue or something that keeps making little spots on it. Hopefully, you you are using a smoother drawing surface. There we go. Now, I also want to come in here and continue these through this part. Now, if you have my drawing sheet, my drawing a rainbow PDF. You can look at all this and it will show you all that. Okay, that was the second step. Now, this next step that we're going to do will make the scale look. We're going to go in here and we're going to draw the opposite direction. Now, you might have to stop and think about this of going this opposite way that crosses these that you just drew. Hey, 
Again, don't get too picky about everything being exactly the same size. And I sure haven't been. Now, I'll be honest, you'll probably want to draw this little guy several times to get it the way you like it. But that's one thing we really need to do. We shouldn't have a problem with practicing. Draw it over and over and over until you like it and make changes that you want to make. This is your fishy. My drawing is just to give you an idea of how to start and what you could do. And then take these ideas and make them your own. Change them in any way you want to. Put things in that I didn't put things in. Do things differently. Leave things out until you have a fishy drawing that you like. These are just ideas. All right. There is our scale part of the drawing. And now we only actually have one more step. Spots. Rainbow trout are spotted. And they're good, shot, good sized, colored in, solid spots. Now, they aren't spotted all over. They're spotted along the top of their body. They're spotted a little bit along the bottom, not quite here but along the bottom their tail is spotted that little fatty fin is spotted the top fin is spotted and there's some spots on their head they don't have spots on their bottom three fins isn't that funny you think they'd just be spotted over all over and they don't have spots down through the middle near as much and this is where they get the rainbow name because there'll be a pinky color through this middle like I added to this drawing. I just couldn't resist adding this pinky color. But they'll have spots up here, 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 and none here. So let's get to adding some spots. They're different shapes. They're just like blobs of color. Now, this is one spot where if you had a good drawing pencil that had a soft lead, this would be quicker. But you know what? If you're not in a hurry, I tend to hurry when I'm doing a video, so my videos aren't so terribly long. But we shouldn't really be in a hurry when we're doing our artwork and you're doing it for enjoyment or if you're doing it for somebody else. Take your time. You will have a much better picture if you just take your time. Now, I need to continue making my spots. I don't necessarily want you to have to watch every one of these. So, I will probably either speed this up or cut some of this out so that you don't have to watch everyone. Okay. Now that you've got the spots in, there's a couple other things. You're basically finished. But let's do a few finishing things. Come along and strengthen these lines that are the ones you want to keep. Which is... Your submarine shape, except for the few spots where you erased it. Now, mine are already very strong because I drew heavily so you could see it on camera. Go over those lip lines. Just strengthen any lines that you just sketched in, which should be most of the ones you did. Just come along and strengthen them. Even strengthen these lines in your uh, your fins if they're lightly drawn like they should be. Then come along once you've done that and let's darken this area right here that shows the inside of his mouth. Now fishies don't really have tongues. In a way that looks like a tongue sitting there. But in a way it's just showing more of the inside of his mouth. 
and then be sure you come along and then erase any stray lines that didn't get erased well earlier to clean him up. Now, you can call this a finished picture. You have drawn a very neat looking little fishy. There's actually one more line I would put in that isn't in on our template. But most fishies have a little line of kind of like some dots down the center of their body. This has to do somehow with the way they feel things and sense things. And if you want to put that in there, I'd say go for it. And then when you add the pink later, it kind of follows along both sides of that middle line. All right. We are going to quit here. You have a very good fishy drawn. Now, if you want to make it a little more realistic, you can add some shading. And we're going to do video number two in this project to show you how to shade it. So for now, I'm going to say bye-bye, and we'll be right back with the next video.